Hello and welcome back. Evan Daly here coming up with another Blender quick tip. In this episode I want to talk about connecting cylinders to grid-like surfaces like this. Um, so, like how would we go about this? If I if I hit 7 on the number keypad and jump into top view, um, I mean that the edges of this cylinder don't line up too well with the edges of this grid. And uh, th there's a few different ways you can go about this. Um, and, and the reason you want to know this technique is because typically when you're animating something, um, you don't want two different shapes. You want everything to sort of connect and share the same sort of connected to topology so that when you animate, things aren't like tearing. Um, so I'm going to jump over into a different project. And uh, this is a mech that I've been working on just kind of for fun I'm on the side. And uh, I'm just going to give it a joint down here, just kind of like a cylinder that pops out from this grid. And so I think that I'll just put it right here. So I'm going to hit X to delete this face. And uh, so now we want a cylinder to come out of this grid. And there's a few different ways I could do that. The first way I'll show you is using the um, Alt-Shift-S command. So if I hit Alt-Shift and S, and then move the mouse away from the center, that sort of took this shape and made it more um, spherical. And so now if I hit E and pull this out, and then W to subdivide, that gave us a few more vertices to work with. So now you can see there's one here, 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 and here in addition to the four corners that are already there. And now if I hit Shift-Alt-S, and you can see as I move the mouse away, it becomes more spherical. Extrude one more time, W for subdivide, Shift-Alt-S. And uh, you can see with each iteration, it becomes uh, much more spherical. And now at this point, it's pretty much a perfect sphere. Um, so that's one option. Now let's um, step back a little ways. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. All right, so now I'm back to my original model. And uh, what if we already have the cylinder in the scene? Well, in that case, um, I'm just going to join these two models because right now they're separate models. Uh, now I'm going to pull the cylinder a little bit closer. And uh, I want to attach it right here. So for that, um, I'm just going to try to line up these vertices. So I'll take these two, uh, S and Z, to scale them up a little bit. And uh, I think while I'm at it, I'm just going to delete these faces. Um, they don't seem like they're perfectly flat in this direction, so I'm just going to Alt-right-click that ring, S and X and 0. And now they're all perfectly horizontal this way. Um, and I think I'll just hit E one time and then W, subdivide, Alt, S, and make that a little bit more spherical. And then what I can do is just Alt, right click this ring, Shift, Alt, right click this ring here. Like so. And then I'm just going to hit Control, W, oh, actually, sorry, just W, and uh, Bridge, Edge Loops. All right, so that connected the sphere to the geometry. And sometimes um, sometimes when you do that, if you don't have enough vertices on the grid side, like if I control Z, um, like if I jump back to this point, I only have one, two, three, four, five, six vertices that I'm connecting to. So if I do that, it, it won't look, um, de depending on how many uh, sides this cylinder has, um, sometimes you get these weird triangles here. And uh, so that's the benefit of doing the W, subdivide, shift alt s, and just make it more spherical before you connect them. And then once again that was W and bridge edge loops. I am creating a course about the fundamentals of programming. If you want to learn the basics of programming or supercharge your programming skills, check out the link in the description. This will be my first premium tutorial series. You can get 60% off the final price of the course by backing the project in the Kickstarter campaign. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.